29th, 2002, GTA Vice City is such an iconic game. And with GTA 6 returning to Vice City, I decided to actually go back and try to find them. Never played Vice City before growing up. So let's get into it. My car is so for the first little bit, since I've already done San Andreas, I decided to get the first trophies out of the way of the vehicle missions. And you have to do 100 taxi missions, which was a freaking grind. And then after that, I decided to move over to the ambulance missions, which was almost made me hate it even more. <laughs> uh, the second trophy I got here is just for collecting 10 police bribes. So then I decided to go out and finish the pizza mission. And I try and go back to chip into the paramedic missions. And oh my god, they were driving me insane. I'm gonna fucking lose it. It took me hours of attempts to get that one trophy. Oh, it was brutal. Right now at this point I literally spent like almost like 10 hours and I've only done vehicle missions so I decided to actually start doing the main campaign, get my first story mission trophy. Then we get to our first missile trophy where you need to go uh, beat this guy off the golf club. Where we go? And then this other next mission is another miss where you need to hit everyone with your helicopter blades, even though it obviously wasn't everyone, but... Yo! These freaking NPCs. Lance Vans Dance. Lance Vans last day. So here then we end up going into our uh, firefighter and getting the firefighter trophies done. And now next we get a trophy for taking over the mansion where you gotta kill Diaz with the uh, M4. The assault rifle that Lance gives you. Don't mind my wonky outfit from the side quest I was doing before this mission. No, this game is sick though. It's pretty much really just Scarface but in GTA. Gracias amigo. Adios amigo. Get another trophy here, yeah, for finishing off his missions. Um, Tommy Two Wheels for finishing off the biker storyline as well. Bam, bam. Let me get another trophy for finishing off this like UK band storyline. Uh, that was a funny, interesting one. An interesting one. Funny. We get our next trophy with, for helping out this dude blow up this garage warehouse of drug dealers. The key from Little Havana. Are we getting trophies flying in? Don't get copyrighted. Hey, 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 I'm gonna get copyrighted. I don't have to meet this clip, but it's a trophy you get for the car, listening to the radio. You know, fully listen to music on all the stations as AFK. And then when I got out, it popped. I need to mute that clip. Time is let me get our next trophy for buying a certain amount of property, yeah. I don't know how many, we need to buy a certain amount of things. Oh, shit.
Mr. But then after finishing that Hitman mission, I got this kind of uh, little bit of a tedious what? trophy I'm where you had to car. get a, what was it? 500 oh, meter yeah. wheelie? No, no, you had to wheelie for like 30 seconds. I mean, that was a stupid trophy for wheeling, because wheeling and the definitive version suck. Yeah. Oh my god. But we got it. You know I can't be stopped. They now snap for the final mission in the game. I kind of blew through the story, didn't include it much of the trope. That's okay. Anyways, so it's literally in the final part of Scarface, we're defending the mansion. A good aim. And then bam, we get a trophy. We kill Lance Vance because he betrayed us. Dickhead. And yeah, we live on. We don't die like Scarface. No, Vice City is a good game. I'd recommend everyone to go play it if you haven't. Then we get this next trophy for. Um, we're completing uh, the side mission, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this club's muted also, it's because of all the copyright music. Yes, yeah, so then we're gonna get the trophy for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to censor that last clip for the copyrighted audio. And then we get this place as our uh, place, and yeah, we get a trophy for getting the place as our place. Around and get a hundred hidden packages in the amount of times that my chopper would just randomly decide to explode and bomb itself. It was ridiculous. Ridonculous. Anyways, we move on. I got the 100 packages, which was a freaking grind, I can't lie. I was only 60. What the hell are we doing here? We get a trophy? Yeah, for my, my psycho, my Raiden. What the fuck? We move on. This should be package number 100. Oh, Jesus, I've really been collecting. These collectibles to last like two, three hours. Like... Yeah, I remember it taking a long time. Jesus. I deserve to be compensated, damn it. Now we go up, we decide to go on an absolute murderous tree of the tank to get our last uh, vehicle mission trophy for getting level 12 vigilante, I believe it was. Actually, no, first I'm getting my six star wanted level. There we go. And then I'm gonna go get my vigilante, which was not easy. Vigilante in these games suck. Vigilante just sucks in general. It was the easiest in uh, San Andreas. It has a trophy for causing $500,000 in damages. So I still haven't even done the Vigilante yet. We're close though. I think I get it here. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little three piece nugget. Alright, so by this point we're actually getting like pretty damn close to being done the plats. We're just going back and finishing like some of the 100% missions, like the RC missions, which we'll also get a trophy for. And now we are going to do the grind, which is in freaking seems every GTA where you need to get a list of cars and deliver it. It's actually the worst feature in the games. It makes sense, GTA. So let's go deliver all these vehicles. And in the process of doing that, we got this other trophy for hitting max speed in the Deluxo. So just head to the airport with the Deluxo and you'll get Finally, going. Finally, the last vehicle. Dude, the... Oh my god, such a grind! Um, that was like actually so grind for what? No reason. And then this next show will be uppy, yippy, uppy, yippy, whatever. You need to have this ball hit your head five times in a row. 
It sounds easy. I thought I was going to do it like first try. It kind of took me a minute. If you can get it perfectly. Oh. There you go. The next, I had to complete all the rampages, the last little bits of rampages, which were actually like kind of annoying, I can't lie. I hate rampages in these games also, especially these like Molotov ones. The way fire works in these games are horrendous. Honestly, the whole, all the definitive versions, the way they're built are just horrible. Oh. Oh, no, that's my last rampage I was finishing actually. Oh, Rampage is completed, let's go! So uh, yeah, that wasn't for a trophy, but it was needed for 100%. Um, and then yes, this is me finishing the, all the stun jumps, which are pretty... Not too bad, actually. Stun jumps are pretty easy for Vice City. Alright, so I did not have a whole lot of things left to do. Other than that one infamous trophy where you need uh, a crap ton of money. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know how I got busted there. That's insane. Um, what am I doing here for a trophy? I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, I'm getting my final wand in my wand in right here. Yeah, I'm famous for causing a certain amount of. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta cause destruction and mayhem until you get like to a certain rating. And so now I'm doing this glitch for money because for the last trophy. It would have been way too hard. 100%. It's some like weird money glitch, but if you guys are interested, look at how much money it is made for doing a mission. There's oh a YouTube video goodness, for it. That was... but... Yeah, <laughs> that was the plan. Them. Shut up the bottom, man. It was a freaking grind. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Great game. Would recommend Vice City. Uh, hardest things the ambulance missions in the game, and playing the definitive edition itself. It sucks. Uh, would recommend. Holy crap. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you guys got this far, comment Chama. GTA 3 next.